I'm up super early to edit. And I looked out that door and I was like, oh my Lord, look at you beautiful. All bright and early. And if you zoom, zoom, zoom in, you can see the Hyperion Theater sign is already blazing. Love that place. Friends, after editing, drinking my coffee, having some breakfast, I am here for day two of Designer Con. And today brings a whole different challenge over on the stage area. I'm, I'm pretty booked up, so I'm not sure how much con I'm gonna get to walk, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna be a great day surrounded by amazing people doing things that they love. And you know what that means. You get a contact buzz. When you're around people that are happy, you're happy. I love that that ginormous four-story character greets me when I come into work every morning. What a great coworker. <laughs> Day two is not VIP only. The general public can come out and uh, there's a lot more people here. You see lines forming around some of the popular booths. I, I enjoy the early night where it's a little bit more quiet and I can kind of walk around and, and I can really appreciate what people have put together for that year's offering for that year's convention. But as of everything, when the community shows up, that's when the fun shows up. And there's my stage. I am pumped talking to so many amazing people from Sony Pictures Animation. They're our big stage sponsor this year. And oh, they gave me the who's who of their roster of people to talk to. Today's conversations are going to be amazing. So speaking of Sony, you can see this is our front of house where you can see all the different monitors that feed over to the stage and uh, this right here that's me that records all of the podcast conversations but new this year we have a, a great cinematography team out that's going to be filming it so you will be able to see all the panels later but for these one day turnaround vlogs that's just not possible you can't be interviewing somebody and filming them at the same time i got to give all of my attention to the people that i'm talking to but i thought you guys would find it interesting to see all the little gadgets that go into pulling off this production This is why this event is amazing, because you can find the most specific things, like one of my grossest but kind of favorite scenes from Colors, the Sean Penn movie. I love it so much. And there we see Pac-Man spraying the young kid's face with the spray paint. Like, who, who makes a toy for that? These guys do. <laughs> stuff celebrating Biz Marquee, one of hip hop's most colorful characters. And every time I'm at a party, I think about his quote and mashed potatoes. I absolutely love this black and white mono line aesthetic. Just look at everything behind me. It is such a, it, it, it's not complicated. It just has so many vibes and all the little things that get hidden in the pockets or as they say in the tattoo world, like the pizza slice that's in between your main tattoos. Like I just love this look so much. Sumi hats. This is my friend Alex. He's one of my friends over on Adventures in Design. I do a set of podcasts called Set Your Goals. And I've kind of been loosely mentoring him over the year on his goal of getting his Sumi project going. He, he pitched it to me. My goal this year is I want to get sued by Nike. 
the thought, I love this guy already. I need to know more. And we've really been working on making a, a, a fun product that not everybody's gonna get, but the people that do get it really, really enjoy it. So it's his first decon. He's here meeting people, getting his product line out, you know, showcasing himself from St. Louis. And I'm excited to hear how it goes. So far, so good. One of my all time favorites, Battle of the Planets, because I was a little kid in the neighborhood at the time and the lead dude's name happened to be Mark. So for once in my life, I got to be the lead dude when we would play Battle of the Planets out in the front yard. Always made me love that property and it's cool. I don't know if you've ever seen, it's also known as Gotcha Man, but Battle of the Planets was so sick when I was a kid. I love seeing Mark, Jason, Tiny, Princess, and Kiyop. What a name, Kiyop. The Mickey ones, take, take it. Do what? <laughs> Just take it? Take it. The Mickey, do, do you like Mickey Mouse? <laughs> do, I mean, do you like Mickey Mouse? I don't know, man. It's kind of vague. It's not. It's kind I, of I, I can't tell if you're a fan or not. You kind of look like. I, kind of a little. Kind of look like a Knott's Berry Farms guy to me right now. <laughs> Thank you yeah, so man, much. It's an honor, man. Just met some uh, some friends that have been friends for a while through the podcast, but I got to meet them face to face, and I, I've I've been collecting all kinds of little Mickey stickers. People have been handing them off to me. I'm like, why not? Why not just rip a little Mickey sticker collection this weekend? So I love this little boxing Mickey that a uh, very nice guy just gifted me. Awesome. You may have seen me on Lincoln Design Co.'s talk show, The Chop. I was a guest, went up to Portland, hung out with them. But this is their RV that they bring out to Decon. And it's great because it's always right by the stage and it's such a great spot to come in here and sit and look out, out this window right here. I can keep an eye on to see if my guests have shown up, what's happening over on the stage. So it is the perfect perch to kind of chill out in between things. And while I'm killing time and kind of getting away, I get to hang out with Buds, which is always great. Me and Lincoln go way back. They did the logo for AID Network and Adventures in Design podcast. So getting to come over here in the clubhouse and hang out with the boys in between sessions, perfect planning, but nobody planned it. I'm up on the stage, got everything in place. Coming up at the top of the hour, I'll be interviewing, hey, who's that guy? I'll be interviewing Christine Belson, who is the president of Sony Pictures Animation. I uh, love talking to people at that level. Like, what an amazing opportunity to have, you know, 45 minutes, 50 minutes to get inside of their world and see what it's like to be the president of an animation studio from one of the top entertainment studios in the world. I seriously cannot wait for all of you to hear the interview that I just did with Christine, who is the president of Sony Pictures Animation. She has a gnarly job. She approves full-length animated features as well as the shows that they produce for Netflix and Amazon. And let me tell you, the interview was so awesome. She was so rad. We had a real conversation. And I think it's just one that will really empower people to want to get into the animated storytelling space. And uh, I kind of got that, that high that I get after I know that I've just nailed an interview made a new bud and helped somebody, another creative, share their story. And Christine was willing to share. She was Ricky. awesome. What's up, bud? How you doing? She was amazing. I'm uh, three panels through the day. Been a lot of talking, a lot of stage time. One more to go, and then I'm gonna try to take another lap around Decon. I'm having so much fun but it is so much talking. <laughs> it doesn't matter though, because when I hit the stage, I just light up. It's go time, let's do it. Right now, I'm just chilling back here, uh, drinking an afternoon coffee and thinking, after my last one, do I have time and energy to do another lap and film some more in Decon? And also, do 
Disneyland. I'm staying at a hotel. I'm in Anaheim. I'm right behind California Adventure. Guys, I'm not seeing a good excuse not to go to the park. So, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work, a lot of talking. Didn't get to film as much as I wanted to on that last rip. Had to wrap up, do some business. But uh, it's seven o'clock and I'm staying in Anaheim. So you know what time it is. It's Disneyland time because nothing could keep me away. I'm powering through. I'm making it happen. Gonna go meet some buds for dinner. I'm a block away and I can't wait. Technically on property, as you can tell by the landscaping. I've got the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout as my lighthouse. Guiding me home, guiding me back home to Disneyland. Every step, energy, power, emotions, happiness is going up, up, up like Mario, not in the mushroom, Mario with the star. So close, so close, I can feel it. <laughs> Disneyland, during the holidays, there's nothing that could keep me away for another magical night. And I got buds here, I'm out of town, celebrating. Oh, I'm rebooted, I'm reborn. Love the magic. New Orleans Square. So close to my final destination. It's rare I get to walk to the park. It's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite things about Walt Disney World is there since I don't live in Orlando. I get to stay at the hotels, on property, walk everywhere, and uh, I don't get that fun at home at Disneyland. So staying downtown, walking over, it's a good vibe to it. All right, meeting some friends for some dinner. And then what? I don't know. So this is how Disneyland reverses my energy. I was super tired, came here, now I'm full of energy. And some people in my party are like, Let's call it a night and head out. It's been a long day. And I'm doing that move where I'm like, can we walk the galaxy's edge? Can we just go see Small World? Can we wait for the projections? Like, I am seriously a little kid when I'm here on like, I don't want to leave. And I just keep trying to squeeze out a little more magic each time. Ah, oh, now the projections are going to happen again. Hey everybody, this is where today's decon vlog ends in front of Main Street train station. Came in, had dinner, did a lap with my friends, caught all the Christmas vibes. What an amazing ending to an amazing day and I hope you had fun going on this adventure with me. I'll see you tomorrow for coverage of day three. Bye!